Hello and welcome to another unboxing today with absolute stunning girl. And yeah, I, I didn't expect to open this box, to be honest, because when this box released, I was already like retreating from AliExpress boxes. I, I recently stopped buying from AliExpress completely, to be honest, uh, because I just, uh, yeah, have to focus what I want to do with my money. And since I found Vcross and ZX, I, I don't have that much money left for for uh, yeah other stuff and boxes. So I had to make some cuts. And yeah, because I'm not living in the USA where you can like sell the cards very well. I know that some some people like can sell the high hits from AliExpress boxes for basically like more than the box cost. Like I don't know in America things are different, but for me it's not. It's a little bit uh, more more difficult to to get the money back or yeah to finance all of this. So I'm very very happy that uh, this box is from and for one of my subscribers, Kenji. And he sent me this box to, to open so I have uh, content for YouTube or I yeah, can experience how the cards are. And yeah, after the unboxing, I sent him the cards back. But yeah, thank you very much, Kenji, that I can open your box. You, you have opened one box, he told me, but he didn't want it to spoil, spoiler me. So uh, yeah, I don't really know what to, what to expect. There are like horizontal cards with Pokemon girls and he told me that he he wants to pull the Sonia and Rosa. I think both of them were from from Pokemon. And yeah, there should also be like Bulma card he wants to pull. I don't know which rarity. I forgot to to ask him that. But there should be a Bulma, a Momo and Shinobu from Demon Slayer. So, yeah, I will try my best to to pull you the cards you want from this box Kenji. And I hope I don't have to censor so much because I'm really lazy and I, yeah, uh, I don't want to make this 18 plus because this is like one of the more loot boxes. So cards are thick, but like medium thick, not as thick as some other boxes, but the card stock isn't feeling that well. Yeah, maybe if you have opened this box too, let me know in the comments, but I think this is cheaper than from other boxes. I don't remember if we have we have seen boxes from this manufacturer, Eureka. I don't think so. I think we've got boxes from Mica, but not from, from this one. Or maybe I just haven't opened it. But yeah, we got Fiona Frost from Spy Family. You are, and the, the edges, they feel a little bit rounded, but not in a good way, like from a from a dull blade, like when from the cutting, not that sharp. You can see that there are some, some errors in the surface. So your yeah, card feeling, I would say, is not, not as good as from other manufacturers. Like the Project Maiden, for okay. Ah, but who cares? Who cares about card quality when we see uh, Neko, kinda Neko looking kicking from Genshin? Okay, this is ah, this is actually good. <laughs> yeah, probably one of the reasons why I why I wanted to open this box because it's very very loot. And yeah, the back looks cool too, but we can see again, like there is something on the edge of the card. Like, yeah, from a manufacturer standpoint, they don't feel this, uh, this good quality. But the artwork is uh, interesting, very interesting. And then we get Kozaka Vak Vakamo, maybe Azerlane, I would say. Yeah, I don't like these bars. I don't know what's the the banner bars banner. I don't like these. We we had some card designs like this in the past already. I'm simply not a fan of this. 
But it looks like always like the first hit in a box, uh, in a pack, is uh, something higher. And then we get like the SSR behind. And this is Tova from Hololive. One of my, my favorite Hololive design characters. Very cute. And Raiden May? I thought it was Raiden Shugun. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, the backside is actually kind of pretty. I like the hearts and the texture. There's some texture on the back. So yeah, just from the look, not not really bad. It's just the card feeling feels a little bit worse than others, but maybe I'm just not used to to AliExpress cards anymore. I have opened so much uh, official product in the past. And there looks like there is some some holo bleed in the in the face. I don't think that this silver dot. There's also like a stretch, uh, a scratch, a stretch in her face. Yeah, like a scratch here. Raftalia. And I think this is wrong. Nike. I think this is the the game. It was like a. I don't. I don't think it's a. Is it a gacha game? Not sure. But there's like a a waifu game called Nikki. But maybe they have like a main character with a name too. Don't know that. Uh, Hanako. She gives me like blue archive vibes, but I'm. Not sure. Maybe it's because of her hair. And I have no idea. But yeah, the I have to admit, like the the swimsuit designs, I I have opened so many AliExpress swimsuit boxes that I I kind of get a little bit over it. Like, yeah, they all look very much the same, and it's getting a little bit repetitive. Like sometimes there are still like gems, like the kicking, the kicking nickel ones, but. A lot of the artwork just feels like the same. And this is a cute aqua. Actually, like, yeah. I like how the summer dress is, like, uh, transparent. It's very cute. But the SSR... So this is also an S... Okay, this is... Okay, I'm stupid. So this is the SSR, and these were SRs. Somehow I thought they they are all SSRs. Sometimes they are jumping over card rarities. Like usually you would, okay, we have a duplicate. Uh, usually you would think that they they would start with like C for common or uncommon, but uh, on AliExpress, like the card manufacturer, they they started to to jump above rarities recently. Like they started where the lowest rarity is uh, rare. And then they decided, okay, now it's the lowest rarity SR. And they always put like new, they come out with new rarities that you never heard of and will never hear of again, probably. But yeah, they they still shift the rarity above. So yeah, at some point like SP becomes like the no, uh, the, the new common card. And you get like an SSSSSP or something like this. It's very weird. Uh, yeah, I really think she's from Blue Archive because of this. I don't know what it is. It's like a Halo. I'm not into Blue Archive, to be honest, but I recognize this. And then we get uh, Tomoe. Mm, I should remember where she's from because of the demon horns, but I don't. I don't know. CHP rarity. Yeah, no. <laughs> No idea what the the meaning of the rarity. I doubt that the manufacturers know what it means. Maybe character, hentai persona. I don't know. We will never know it. But yes, so far I'm not so good at pulling the the ones from Kenji. I'm sorry. I will try my best to at least pull one of the the BKMs. We get Prince Eugen. With the, uh, yeah, German flags. 
Uh, Mato Sakura, Sakura, no idea. So it's the, I think there was like one, one horizontal Pokemon card guaranteed per box. Maybe it's in the box topper, another duplicate. Oh, Kafka. Yeah, I, I know this artwork because Kenji uh, put two extra cards in his package to me. So I already have seen this one, Kafka and uh, Candice. That's, yeah, Candice is, has a very nice character design. I like the, the Egyptian themed artworks. But yeah, where are the, the chase cards? Another duplicate. I think we have seen her before too. So there should be at least like 27 SRs and we are getting duplicates with only two packs per, uh, two cards per pack. Oh, today I, I really stumble <laughs> above words like, oh, sorry. But yeah, that's not so nice that we get so many duplicates. Shinano. Ah. Uh. She gives me like Yuma Musume vibes, but the art style is weird. I don't like this one. It's probably not AI because we see the hands, but they probably should have used AI because these hands look like S. Not very good, but where, so there wasn't even like the, the BKM or maybe it's really in the, in the box topper pack. Oh. But no BKM. I thought the BKM is guaranteed. Man. SMR. Yeah. SM rarity, maybe. Uh, Cowgirls. We, we love it. Louise from, I think, a Aza Lane, But I always guess Aza Lane. And the good thing is, in many cases, I'm right. Because most of the characters are actually from Aza Lane. <laughs> but it's numbered. It's very hard to read. It's 58 of 66. We again have like these lines, top and bottom from the manufacturing. Imprinted, that's not nice. And the edges are sparkle, foiled, cute. Yeah, but no, no chase it for you. I, I will try my best Kenji to to pull from the other boxes you sent me uh, your chase cards. And yeah, thank you so much for sending me the box to open. And thank you for watching. For more unboxings, please check out my YouTube or uh, yeah, if you want to see more unboxings or want to support the channel, check out my Patreon. And see you in my next unboxing. Bye. Oh, no. No, bye. I forgot, I always, I put the peg next to my my mouse to my computer mouse because I I always forget like <laughs> to open the force of will pack for my Anubis card. So yeah let's go quick through the cards. Uh one day will be the day hopefully. Oh no it's just a, a yokai celebration card. I like the art style but not the Anubis so now bye. <laughs>